Right there. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, get my fat boy. My phone. So what we doing right here? Let's go. Ready? Turn your light on. Right here. We good, baby. We good. Ready? Nah, turn your light on. Turn your light on. Turn your light on. Turn yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, yeah. You know, 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 you Hey, listen, listen, listen. One thing about that, that ain't him talking on it, cause he he can't even speak English. So, so how you gonna write English? So, so how you gonna write when you can't even speak English? So real quick, we wanna get into the big event. We here in Vegas live right now, and um, we fight the Matisse Conference, Garcia. Lucas, Paul Puncher, everybody picking the teeth and not ready. Yeah, yo, yo, that's these these fighters around your weight class. You know what I mean? So you pick them for this fight. You know what I mean? How you see it going? If you like crazy, you're still trip, bro. Um, yeah, I'm actually putting my money on Danny. Okay. Um, and I'm not saying that just because that's my friend and grew up together. None of that. It's just you know I I seen him fight. You know I grew up with him. Um, he can box. He's very underrated. He can do things that people think he's not a capable of. Oh. That was that was the great Hall of Fame. He get a pass for that. This is the problem. You know, that's the only man. Around this time, around this time next year, early, we have this we get all this stuff in. You know, you heard it first. Yeah, yeah. Only only for uh, for B Hop, you know, to get that off. Anybody else would have walked on. But um, <laughs> real quick, main event, your boy, boy, me, brother, big brother, Canelo. I mean, good fight. I'm not gonna say Canelo's not gonna come in and fight him, but at the end of the day, man, Floyd's gonna fuck him up. Flat out, I'm just saying. I'm just gonna stop him cut. Yes, he's gonna stop him in the late rounds. Man, Canelo's gonna take a beating, man. Putting the bread up for that, Jay? And his face is gonna match his hair, man. Red everywhere. <laughs> That's what's up. You heard it first only on the I Can Hit Hold Show. On. I want to ask him about his rap career. I heard him spit some bars. This shit is kind of tough. What's up? Hey, man, you already know how that is. I just I got off tour with Lil Wayne, 2 Chains, and T.I., man. You know, you know uh, like somebody looking uh, <laughs> to sign you? Are you trying to get that deal on that side? Oh, uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to keep it quiet right now, but Bandcamp will be signed shortly. I'll I, I say in the next week or two. You'll hear about there it. There you go. You heard it first. I can hit you. Yeah, we should have this over right now. <laughs> Adrian, you said Canelo will take a beating and his hair will match his, oh, his face will match his hair? How yeah. do you explain that? Yeah, he got red hair. He have a red, red ass face. How do you come up with these lines? I don't, re I don't write these lines. I don't practice what I preach. I teach. So you, you have your Twitter, Twitter beef with Marcos Maidana? No, no, no. I don't do Twitter beef. Why not? I just don't do Twitter beef. I don't need, listen. Why do Twitter beef? And that's not even him. He can't. He don't. He don't know English. He can't even speak English. What about Google Translate? Google copy Translate. That, that's not him. He's not putting together the words. And right now we're all talking about Matisse Garcia. Were you here for the press conference? Did you hear Angel on stage? Yeah, I heard him. What did you think of that speech? I mean, that's Angel. You know, um, he's he's not being somebody. He's not. That's what he do. He's been doing that since I was a kid. Really? Yeah. Were, were you ever show up to your fights? Were you fought? Yeah, I, I mean, he, he was doing that when we was in the amateur tournaments. You know, Danny always been a, a quiet kid. You know, uh, Angel always did that for him. And what did you think he said? Uh, Matisse with 32 <laughs> knockouts, knocked out 32 bumps. I mean, you know, uh, I, I, I'm not here to judge no fighter. You know, um, I let them rate them and, and I knock them down. I, you have a very, very tough fight, December 14. Is this your toughest fight, you think? I mean, on paper. On paper, it's, a, it's my toughest fight. I haven't been in with the guy yet to tell if it's if it's my toughest fight or not. But on paper, yes. He's gonna yeah. be here. Are you, are you running into him? What are you gonna tell him? You guys are gonna cross any I can't say thing? shit to him. He's not gonna understand it. <laughs> I'm gonna argue with somebody who don't speak my language. <laughs> what about learning Spanish? I learn some Spanish. I, I do know Spanish. Punta. <laughs> <laughs> I want to deal with with the hands, the prayer hands right there. Yeah, yeah, you gotta swag it out with the pinky ring, man. I had to be different. Where's the pinky ring? You see it? <laughs> oh, oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and and what's it like? You hear a press row. Every interview, every radio station in America is happy to talk to you, excited. When you were a kid, did you ever think this would happen? Yes, I knew this was gonna happen when, when I was a kid. That's why when when I first turned pro and, and I first got signed to Golden Boy, I would come perform in front of about ten people in the crowd, like everybody was just here here already. It was like, like I, I would perform in front of ten people, like it was a full crowd, man. I knew where I was coming to. And what did they ask you the most today? Um, 
honestly, what do they ask me most? Uh, is that one app gone? <laughs> Adrian, you went to the doghouse at Mayweather's gym. How was that experience? No, 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 no. I went to the doghouse. I walked some dogs in the park. Was it easy? Huh? I walked some dogs in the park. <laughs> you get a chance to say hi to Polly when he was here earlier? Oh yeah, no, 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 no bad blood with Polly. Everybody think it's bad blood with me and Polly, man. We, it, it was just the fight week. It was just, it was, it was just a business. You know, um, I don't care who I'm fighting. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna be friendly with you. We gotta go to war. So it's fuck you. But after that, you know, um, we can go fuck some girls together. I don't care. We can do whatever, man. Every fight you show a different look. Why is that? Like, how do you explain? You have just a lot of different styles. I mean, I got a different style for everybody. You don't fight nobody the same. You know, um, everybody just feel like I walk these guys down. You know, I'm just doing what I gotta do to to what's ever put in front of me. You know, um, maybe Madonna make me do something I haven't showed nobody yet. But we will see December 14th. Is the weight gonna be 147 from here on in? You think you can go back down again? Uh, I can go down to any weight. You know, I, it don't matter if it's a big fight. We can make it happen. What's gonna be the difference between you and Madonna? Both of you got some pop, man. What's the, tell me what's gonna win you the fight. I'm Adrian Brown and he's Madonna. What you mean it's gonna be the difference? <laughs> I got my oh, he been beat before. The, the shoulder roll. Only you and Floyd know how to use it. To perfection. How do you explain that? that? Out of hundreds of thousands of boxers, they don't use it. Um, when when I first seen Floyd at twelve, man, I've been doing it since twelve, man. Um, you know, I used to get hit with it a lot, but it, but everybody think that I turned pro and then I'm just starting. I, I've been doing it since I was twelve years old. And Mayweather's at thirty six years old. He has four fights left. Who do you think he should fight after Canelo? I really we, see as a boxer, you gotta respect the game. You can't look past nobody. So. I want him to stay focused and, and, and win this fight against Canelo. Then we can start thinking who's next. And you went on Twitter and you said that uh, Mayweather was showing you things about the game you didn't know. What, what was he showing you? What was he putting you up on, man? I think that was for me and him to talk about. Okay. <laughs> you said Canelo's going to take a beating. Why do you see it that way when a lot of people so much believe in Canelo? I mean, they, they're going to believe him because that's what they hyped him up to be. That's his boxing. You know, um, after Canelo get beat, he will still be a star. He would still have his country behind him, but you know, skills pay the bills. Richard Schaefer said that you're going to be the next guy that takes over Floyd. That you're the only guy that possesses the same things that made him a star. How do you feel about that? And what do you tell the people who are questioning you? You know, doing your first paper at 23 years old. I mean, you know, um, I'm just doing me. I'm not trying to be nobody. I'm just being myself. You know, um, I know, I know it's a lot of people who hate me and want to see me lose. I know it's a lot of people who like me and want to see me win. So I already won right there. All I got to do is keep winning. That's the formula for success right there? Of course. Was it hard when you were rapping walking into the ring? Because when you rap, it takes energy out and you're out of breath. How, how do you do that? How do you prove that? I'm in shape. I'm in shape. You know, um, it's just I was gaining weight. You know, uh, being, 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 being at the gym for two months, you know, um, having sex, partying, uh, and you know, just having fun. You know, now we're back on track. You know, um, like like y'all just said, I just kick some ass in, inside the gym. You know, um, it is what it is, man. I, I'm a special guy. I can do it all. Were a lot of people calling you out when you went in the dog? I saw some of the video. No, 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 no. They weren't calling me out. They had to pick them out because they can't no just anybody just get in the ring with Adrian Brown. And I and, and I'm gonna tell y'all the funny thing about it. I wouldn't even hit nobody hard up top, man. I was just throwing some vicious body shots. They said it sounded like gunshots when they landed. Are you ever gonna get any working with Floyd at all? You guys ever gonna spar even if it's just to work? We talk about it all the time. We bullshit with each other all the time. He said, he said when we work, everything's gonna be closed down and it's gonna be a very private session. A lot of people point at you and him fighting down the line. I know you said no, he said no. Why do you think people keep pushing for that fight? Because, I mean, Two of the biggest guys in the sport who don't want to see that. You know, that'll make billions of dollars. That'll make billions of dollars. But um at the end of the day, I don't need Floyd. Um, I don't need Floyd. I don't need Floyd. You know, um, it'd be great for the sport for us to box, but um, we're gonna keep the money in-house. Hey, in record. a very short time you took over this game now, because there are a lot of boxers that nobody knows about with great records. How did you do it to get so popular, even not with the boxing crowd? I mean, look at my record. I knock motherfuckers out and I talk and I talk, talk, I walk the walk, you know, I back it up. The, the brush that was that give you a lot. I of mean, it? I just be me, and you just built that home. You, you know, built that home. I be me. I, I want to thank this man right here, my my R and R promotions, R and R promotions, promotions, and um, you know, uh, I just I just did did me. You know, fans connect to something real. When you go up there and you talk a certain way, and when you get off the camera, you back uh, doing all the wrong things that that you shouldn't be doing. No, I, I keep it real. Like I talk the way I talk on camera, and. You can catch me in Walmart, I'll be the same way. 
Why do you think people are scared to kind of take that approach where they just say what they mean and they don't want to go out some, there and put themselves some, some, out there? Sometimes you got people who, who tell you like, don't say that or yeah. or don't do that, that'll hurt you. But but, but when you when you believe in yourself and, and you, you got your own word and you believe believe in your words, then, then that's all that matters. Because it's going to come a point in time where everybody is going to believe your words, no matter if it's right or wrong. Is, is there, are you going to keep continuing to tour? Are you going to put that on the back burner now? Are you ever going to go back to trying to tour again and do the uh, music? Uh, Oh, almost definitely. You know, I, I got a passion for music. I've been doing music. I didn't just start doing music because of who I am. And, and I, I didn't, like, some people, they'll get rich and famous and then they just try something new. This isn't new to me. I got a twin brother who's, who, we've been doing music for a long time. I saw him here before. I thought it was you. I came up to him, Adrian, <laughs> can I talk to you? But Adrian, I talked to Mike Stafford. He told me Cincinnati has some of the worst inner cities in the world, not only in America. How did you survive in all that environment? I mean, I'm a roughneck, man. I, I, I'm the cream of the crop. I'm, I'm one of a kind. They don't make them like me no more. You know, I, I, I came out of a crazy environment. You know, um, I done seen some crazy things. I done done some crazy things. But all that matters, I made it out. You talk about that Philly shell, the Floyd made it roll, whatever. How long did that take to, to perfect? We saw Oscar try to use it. We saw a lot of Honestly, guys. Um, all the way, I was 12 when I first started, when, um, when, when Floyd fought Corrales. Okay. Then I, I went to the gym, I started trying it. I started winning tournaments. I've been winning tournaments. I always won tournaments. And then um, I came back to the gym and I just I just was always just practicing it. And I just got better and better and better every year. Well, see, well, yeah, well, well, last question. Miami, do, do you think if people really got to know you, they would like you more, appreciate you more? Because all they see is 20 seconds on some clip and they think, oh, this guy is. Once they really get to know Adrian Bronner, man, I will be, I will be everybody's. People's champ. It will still be some who will want to see me lose, but in back back of the mind, they love me. You know, a, a hater is just a fan. We're, we're seeing uh, Danny and Lucas fight each other. They're both Owls guys. Uh, is there an opportunity we might see you against one of Owls guys at some point? Hey, this is business. Sometimes, sometimes it happens like that. Are, are you friends with uh, Danny? Like, do, could you see no, yourself fighting Danny? I, I, me and, me and, we got love for each other. Me and Danny. That's my homie. Thanks, Adrian. I'm still waiting.